Previously on American MC. Tensions ran high as the pack traversed down a steep, dirt road. To the left is a cliff and it drops off. If anybody falls off, you're dead. Always inspirational, Brian Bosworth looked to the future. I'd like to see where you guys are a month from now. See how many are you guys are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Big Tom let us in on his true feelings for Baker. He doesn't feed, not break. For the first time, women were allowed to join the journey. This is one of the twins. I'm not talking about these twins. Yeah. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the police pulled the group over. Come here, sir. Come here. This is, this is what's wrong with me. The law finally had enough of Gary Busey. Well, sir, what I need you to do is turn around for me and uh, put your hands behind your back. Are you taking me in? Why are they handcuffing me? Uh, what, what's the charge? Has Busey's big mouth put him in the big house? He's learned a lesson he'll never forget. You're not in Hollywood. This is Hollywood. Turns out it's April 1st. So we got out of there without a ticket, but the cops weren't as tough on us as we thought. We got to get to the Grand Canyon. That's all I want. And I hope we get there before sundown. Baker presented Bosworth and Busey with honorary vests, and the group helped them make the cut. He's going to hit muddle in a minute. He's going to get my titanium shoulder. Oh, shit. Off goes the nose. <laughs> nice! <laughs> talk about the day just before we get to that it's kind of important i don't know if you guys all heard after we left the uh, oak creek canyon slide rock area i didn't meet pat but i met his dog he had a pretty bad accident hey guys you all clear out a spot for the emergency vehicle in there Come on, a little too wide and uh hit the side of the rocks and then flipped out and uh he curled up on a ball and took it in the head to protect the dog. Dog's all right. Pink's all right. all right. I had heard this guy had went off the road and crashed, and he was hurt pretty bad, but we did not know to what extent it was. And it's unfortunate, but that's just part of the game. It's not if you're going to go down, it's when are you going to go down. Nice guy. They had to air vac him out. Let's have a moment for him. That he's okay. It's always terrible when anybody gets hurt. That's it. Anyway, the dog's fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Anyway, welcome to the Grand Canyon. It's just awesome. So I don't know about you, but I'm just gonna take it in. Let's pretend we have a campfire. Let's just sit around and shoot the breeze. Tell you what, Big Tom, you as our, our poet yeah. in rank, tell us the journey. These times have changed. It troubles me. No longer is the freedom felt to ride real hard or stop for a belt. Now times the bike's right in a truck, the bars get past. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and destinations change as well to swank resorts, true biker hell. They wait on you both hand and foot, jack shit to do lifestyle kaput. I know my bike was built to ride. It's what I like and do with pride. Now time I spend out on that road until life's end mean more than gold. So if this trend don't turn around, and even then, some fun refound, I fear I'll flee this caution zone. Again, ride free my bike alone. <laughs> Last but not least, Gary, <laughs> what's on your mind? Riding with you people has motivated me to be a better man in a giving, humble way. Because it has to do with the brotherhood, the camaraderie, and the teamwork. And the word team, T-E-A-M, that stands for together, everyone achieves more. And that's why it's very honorable to me to be asked to come here and be given this jacket, the Chevron station. <laughs> yeah. and another thing, another thing that happened to me, which slapped me in the side of my ego head, 
was the fact that I now know that Cottonwood is not Hollywood. This is Cottonwood, all right? It's not Hollywood. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, he ain't fooling. I, 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 I thank you all. I love you, all of you, and I'll see you again. I'll ride with you again, and that's a promise. It's been a real pleasure. Uh, thank, you. Right. thank you, Donnie. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone want to warm up in the bar somewhere? Full moon. Yeah, so just look at her for a while. Let's get the heck out of here and go find someplace warm. Go. Rock out of here, it's getting a little too chilly for us. For sure, find the bar that's got cold beer, hot women. We're getting started in the right direction to become a, a good club. And uh, we're getting the right people to ride together. We're gonna ride a long time. You guys are gonna be sticking around for a long time. They're awesome people. You can trust them, you can trust them with your lives. Telling a few stories of what was going on. It was kind of family oriented, like us as a family. from the other. It was very cool. Sorry the day was so long, but was it worth it? I mean, it seriously. worth every minute of it, every mile, every tenth of a mile. It's now the final morning of this journey, and Baker wants to get back to business. Hey, you guys. Let's uh, wrap up whatever thoughts that we all want to reflect on about our, our little journey here. Because we have people from three states, are we an Arizona-based club, a Nevada-based club, a California-based club? But I don't think we really know much. Other than we knew we didn't want to just be fools and run an ice cream man from Hell Patch that was great, but it didn't symbolize anything about us. I hope we do get down to become an MC, and I hope we have members beyond our group, but there'll only be the original 13. The Baker's Dozen. <laughs> Anything we do about becoming a motorcycle club will be scrutinized by a, anybody that is a motorcycle club. That Become a member. matter to us, though. It absolutely matters to us because that's the life style, the world that we're talking about moving into. We don't know the protocol. We don't know the heartfelt. We don't know the dedication. We want to know, we know what we're about, but it, it's absolutely important, Dave. It seems like it's most important to you, Tommy. We're I think what we're all concerned about is what level of motorcycle club that us as a group want to we be. We don't know today. We what think we, know we know today is let's run a new virgin vest. We vest. know the level of club that you want to be. Tell me what you think. I think that you want to be a very structured, very traditional type motorcycle club. We have to go with some of the consciousness that's got, well, 60 years of motorcycle clubs before us. But how important is that? How important it is? If you're gonna be a club, it's real important. You had the opportunity to be with a president of a one percenter club. He told you two things. Do you remember what he told you? No. Do you remember what he told you? I remember he told you. What did he say? Well, I don't have to What I wanted to hear if you even remember. What did he tell you? What were the two things he told you about riding with them? Oh, Mike? You, Mike? Pride in your ride. Pride in your ride. He said something else. Now, if you can keep up, you can stay up. He said, keep it tight like a freight train. Like a freight train. If you train. don't do that, you have no right being a motorcycle club. Forget it. Be a bunch of guys that are riding together. Because if you put an MC on your patch, OK, you're saying I'm like them, and you're not if you're not riding that way. From a long distance away, you see this powerful group of motorcycles. Not all over, not this. Wow. You could tell, you, you could tell they were a club just by the Absolutely. formation of how they rode. Want to, all I said is we don't necessarily have to go with all of this. Right now, going forward as a group of guys that want to become a motorcycle club, 
do we make it an edict or a lifestyle that when we do it, it just is to ride in a pack? I'm not questioning that. Uh, well, I'm then we've got a majority. Go ahead, John. Sorry. Uh, but but a pack. I mean, how, how are you trying to define it's that? Tight. Because you're, when you're when you're tight. saying tight, well, you're a distance. Pull. You want to give us a tape measure, and we're going to measure from tire to tire how far we're supposed to be. When your heart beats so hard, it's about ready to jump out. That's how close. That's you your answer. Be. <laughs> and if you don't get that, then don't go the wrong. And that's why we want to do it. I say let the riding tell what we're about. That's why he's trying to get to this freight train, this, this togetherness, this one liquid form going around turns. It's so impressive from wherever you stand or look, that's what we're speaking from. We're speaking from our skills of how we ride and stick together. We might be a chaotic bunch of you know, uh, Chinese firemen, I don't know, <laughs> when it comes to sitting down and talking, but when it comes to riding, we gotta be that freight train. Wait, wait, and that wait, will, wait. Well, that'll show it to the other MCs, that's serious. Any public group, any other bike club, cause no, I want to talk to you, let me finish. There, then you can talk, let me finish. Maybe Brian no big finish. deal. I'm in the middle of a statement, Dave, I know it's tough to keep on track. Oh, Just let a person finish their statement, okay? You do the same, okay? I don't you do the same. <laughs> you do the fucking same. You are such an elegant liar. You do the same. I think that'd be the majority. Wait, 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 wait. He has a point. That's, that's because he does the Bullshit has been called. You do the same. You do the fucking same. You are such an elegant liar. I was talking over everybody, asked for questions, wouldn't let anybody answer. I had to stand up and say something to him. You do the same, okay? You do the same. It was the right moment and the right time to say what needed to be said. I, I, got, I got one last thing that we don't have the personality or the commitment away from our lives, because to me, what I've seen in one percenter clubs, these are people that are willing to take their entire life and dedicate it to that club. They'll live and die <laughs> by that mark. No, okay, and, and none of us are willing to do that. We want to have a club, and there's plenty of clubs that aren't one percenters. I don't buy into that one percenter thing as being bad guys, just fully 100% committed guys to that club. It's a religion. Okay, that being said, we had an awesome opportunity to ride with, hang out with, a one percenter club. I think they were just happy that we were keeping up. Yeah. I think they were proud, of, we had some pride in our ride, and I think they appreciate it. That's exactly what they were doing. I'm in support of Red and White because they started it all. I'm in support of Red and White because those guys are the most committed human beings that I've ever met to each other. They've committed their entire lives to each other, and they never back down from that. There's plenty of people that wear vests that have nothing to do with the club because maybe they dream and wish that they had a group of guys that were as committed. It ain't where a man lives, it's what he does when he leaves the house.